Are you looking to get a jump start on your competitors? Or maybe you're looking to find influencers to offer your product to them? Well, this is going to help you out. It's called the Buzz Guru, and they have a huge database of influencers, websites, videos, etc. And it's going to help you find the right people or find the right information that's gonna take your business to the next level. So let me show you what I'm talking about on this video. Let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to be talking about Buzz Guru. Like I mentioned before, it's a big database of influencers, websites, videos, etc. that are going to give us key information that's going to help us take our business to the next level. I'll take me for example. You know what? I'm a YouTuber, I make videos, and I want to know what my competitors are actually doing. So what are the influencers in my niche doing? What time are they posting? What type of content are they posting? How frequently are they posting? How are their metrics going compared to mine? Or let's just take for example, we just developed a brand new earphones and we want to bring it out to the market. Let's find out who the best influencers are to market our product. It could be a lot of use cases, even competitor analysis, analysis for website, games, applications, etc. You're gonna be amazed with all the information that you have. And the best par part about it is that they have a really good filter to filter out what you actually want and need. For example, like I mentioned, maybe you want to offer your brand new earphones to a niche of influencers, but hey, you are not in the budget to find the best influencers, the biggest ones, no. We want to find some of them that are, you know what, in the range of 10 to 100,000 subscribers, etc. And this is going to help us with that use case. Now, this is the main dashboard for Buzz Guru, and you're gonna see some use cases that they have already pre-built here. So for example, we got all the cases, which, which you are viewing right here. We can view influencers search, so for example, find influencers by filter, find influencers by keywords, discover gaming influencers. If I want to do competitor research, well, they help us out with these kind of template-like searches already pre-built. Competitor analysis by website, by analysis by apps, by games, etc. Influencer analytics, list, and insights. For example, these are top quality accounts, top 100 videos, top 100 games. Even if you are going to create content, like if let's just say you're a marketer and you need to create content for your social media accounts, well, hey, posting about top 100 games is actually pretty cool. You get all that information right here. So it's pretty cool. Now, if you don't want to go through these use cases, we have the top searches right here. So if you just wanna dive deep into influencers, we'll click on it. And this is where it's going to take us. Let's get rid of this right there. And we can start searching through these right here. So right now we are viewing at the top influencers from this niche, all right? So for example, I can search for a specific channel or I can use the filter. Like I mentioned before, maybe I want to search for my competitors or maybe I want to offer something to these influencers. I'll search, for example, topics. Let's just say that my thing is about, you know, hobby and style. I want that and I want to search for science and technology. Okay, let's click away and it's going to filter this out to find me influencers that are in that niche. Pew, Pew Diddy Pie, which is really popular. I mean, one of the biggest influencers in the world and I'm actually viewing them here. I can tag these if I want to add them to a list. Let's just say find if selected channel topics so I can go into more percentage views. For example, you know what? I, I don't have a budget to find the best influencers. So if their views range from, I don't know, um, half a million and kind of, you know what? 100K to half a million, all right? So I want to search for those. I don't want to search for the top ones and it's going to reduce that niche. So for example, let's choose this one, Len Beauty, okay? She has 294,000 subscribers. Her hashtag is about hobbies and style. The average views that she gets is 273 million. Yeah, well, that's a lot of views. Average number of likes, it's, it doesn't ha it hasn't counted for that because this is not one of the biggest influencers so the information it's limited so you're gonna see we have some information here because it's limited let's search for a big one just to give you an overview of all you can see right there so let's search for I don't know this guy mr. beast I don't know who he is or what he does but he's here and he's one of the big ones so mr. beast United States English entertainment niche 
um, their Twitter accounts, their Instagram account, their channel. I can add them to a list. So if I click on it, I can add them to a list so I can later view these and compare them. Okay. I can download this in a PDF if I like, and I'm building an overview of what's going on. For example, um, with the metrics that BuzzGuru um, analyzes, it gives it a 60% good. Okay. So it's a score. The engagement rate, 1.19%. Number of likes. So for example, you'll see it's, it's ranging. For example, the number of likes per 1,000 view ratio over the last three months. So that's the information that it's giving you right here. Number of comments. So it's six for every 10,000 views. Number of views, 55%. The channel rating, five. Channel rating in the United States, three. Category rating entertainment, number two. That's pretty good, right? The cost for the integration, for example, $1,020,443. The average price, the engagement rate, the channel quality, the cost per million. You can view that there. Channel audience, how they've been growing. So you can see this by the range that you're looking at. For example, this is a 30 day range. If I'm looking at any 90 day range, a one year range, I'm viewing how their growth is actually looking right there, 14 days. So for example, if I'm looking for an influencer and I want to know how they are doing recently, well, I'll search for seven, 14 or 30 days because maybe they've been doing great in the past, but maybe they stopped making content. So this will give me an overview of what's going on. So this guy is stable. He has been creating content nonstop. Subscriber numbers. So you can see how he's been growing. Video views forecast for 30 days. So that's a forecast of what's going to happen. Content analysis. So the engagement rate, distribution of likes, number of comments, viewers ratio, excellent. Video analytics. So for example, these are the some, some of the videos. Oh, now I know who this guy is. I didn't know what his channel name was, but I've seen him before. Obviously, I mean, he's one of the big ones. So by the latest videos, $10,000 every day, you survive in prison. So that's the type of content he's making. This was posted a month ago. He already has 51.99 million views, 722,000 likes. I mean, that's crazy, but you get all that information. I'll click on it in a bit. Um, video releases scheduled. So you can see some releases there. He's scheduling on Saturday. So that's the type of content he he's been successful with it. Maybe you want to replicate it or maybe you want to post one day before he actually posts because obviously you don't have the same rating as he does. The video output frequency, the video categories, top 10 tags from YouTube. So this guy, slime, life hacks, life hack tricks. That's his main hashtags. If you want to target those hashtags, well, that's a good idea. If you have that same type of content brand mentions. So these are the brand mentions he's done. The sites that he has to do join honey, which is popular for coupons, EA for EA sports. I'm um, current. Haven't heard of that one. Haven't heard of chop MR beast. That's probably his store. And you can see the information for these sites, the channels. So he, ha he has several channels. So if those is recommended, he's recommending himself and I'll click on this video. Okay. It's going to give me the analytics for this specific video and you're going to get, get a whole bunch of more analytics. Like I mentioned before, all this is going to save you time because you're going to view it in an overview. Site mentions, product mentions, none, game reference, the price, the title, the channel, the views, the comments, entertainment, etc. video popularity, dynamics, and other videos that have to do with this specific influencer. So a lot of information goes into influencer, a lot of things that you can do. Like, like I mentioned before, you can grab these and make them in a group so you can later analyze them. So influencers by Instagram. So that was YouTube and this is Instagram. So Cristiano Ronaldo, which is a, a football player. Here's his information. One of the big ones in Instagram. And obviously you're going to get different type of analytics because this has to do with um, Instagram, not with YouTube. So it's different type of things that you want to know. So the channel quality, the account activity, the activity chart, the cost, the audience statistics by subscribers, audience gender. So mostly male, female, 30%, the audience age. So most are 25 to 34, 18 to 24. So that means that if you were to offer um, publicity ads for that target, you would target that age. Okay. So this information helps you with that brand affinity. So Apple, Nike, Trip, Adidas, you can view more interest, content analytics, account rating, hashtags, 
So hashtags is really important, for example, on Instagram. So you might want to use those if your content is um, similar or if you're posting about this person, etc. The mentions, the post, the recent post, you can see the popularity there of the likes. That's a lot of likes, the channel. A lot of things you can go in depth and go into that post and get the analytics for that specific post post etc etc okay let's go back into influencers and same thing goes we can go into twitch to see who are the top ones in twitch and use a filter and we'll get filters for this we'll go to TikTok, who's popular in TikTok, and obviously use a filter and find what you actually want to find and target those and that's for influencers i mean you can go really in depth into each one of these and really look at the information that's interest interesting for you okay same thing goes with applications so it's not just about influencers you also have data for applications who are the top applications what are they doing what are they for should i create one of these applications that have to do these because they rank well for example right now i'm viewing one two three that's three uh, four king master four five Okay, so right now, an overview, I'm viewing at five applications that have to do with video editing, okay? So that's video editing and probably image two. So those are kind of like an overview of popular plugins. So if I'm building something and you know what I might say, that's the way to go because that's what people are actually doing right now. I mean, everyone's posting content right now to social media and they want those editors on their phone, on their tablets, etc. There's other ones like games, Cleaners, Opera, Call of Duty, I have that, Opera GX, etc. All right, so you get to analyze what's going on. But let's just go for this one, right? Let's open it up and what can we do with it? So, for example, we are going to find the thumbnails that they have, statistics for all time for this particular um, application, explore one month, three months, six months, and get that information there. Approximate budget, monthly di dynamics on YouTube for that app mention geography so country country not defined and the rest okay so they've been doing really good in colombia budget allocation mentions calendar distribution of publications by day etc all that information you get that there from this specific application and again we can create a group for this specific application so we can compare them and again we also have the filters for this specific category which is the applications so by category i don't want to view everything i want to view only um, art and design beauty and that's about it so what's going on who are the ones that are the top dogs in this specific category number of mentions at at count mention rate broadcast language so for example i might look for something that's in a different language to see who are the top ones the influencers mentions account count for that application and it's going to give me all that information. It's just going to depend on you how you want to use that. And that's for applications. Next one is sites, a really popular and useful feature to find out who are the top sites, what's going on with those top sites. For example, Amazon, what's going on with these guys? We get all the analytics for these guys. Obviously, it's one of the top ones. Everyone's mentioning Amazon because they got Amazon Prime. They got Amazon movies. They sell products and everyone's advertising products. There's the aff affiliate marketers. Etc. So a lot of things going on with Amazon. And again, we have filters for websites. And again, search what you need to find. Find the sites that if you're looking for the top ones or middle ones or lower ones that are barely in growth. So you can so you can offer them uh, a blog um, exchange, maybe a post, maybe some products, etc. You would go that way. Also, games. It's another category. Pretty cool one. Not really. Um, not many other websites have these features so you it's specific to games in this case for example what's been going on with these um, let me try to find one that i actually use let me see there's PUBG, call of duty okay so that's one that i use so let's go ahead and click on it and check it out what's going on with call of duty so total influencers eleven thousand nine hundred seventy. total mentions total views the YouTube Twitch account that has to do with this specific game called Duty Modern Warfare. So this one is not the mobile one. It's the one from the PlayStation probably. Number 10, YouTube mentions, metric rating, all that information, publisher, Blizzard, 
platforms that it's available. So these are the platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, and Windows. The tags specific to this one reports per month, three months, six months, or custom range mention dynamics on YouTube for this game. So who's been mentioning this? Mentioning geography, a lot of information. It's just, it's, it's crazy how much information you can grab out of this. And I mean, if you don't take advantage of that information, you are not taking to the fullest buzz guru, all right? So videos, if we're gonna go in specific into videos and not actually the influencer. So maybe there's a really popular video and not so much of a popular influencer. So you could find them right here in specific videos. Um, here's a video about BTS. And this was posted by Bangtan TV. This is the video and here's the metrics for this specific video. You can add, get all that information there. Next category is posts. So go into specifics now into post. So check these out by influencers. So something that's interesting, da, 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 da. let's see. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I mean, let's check it out. Okay, so this is in Thai from Thailand. Number of subscribers, average views. So this, this guy, Modo. And he's from, this post is from TikTok. So got that little signal there. The quality for him, the analytics for this specific post, how's he doing? Should I contact this person to offer them my service? Uh, or I'm just analyzing my competitor, etc. Streams. So again, specific, going into streams now. No match for streams. Hold on. No matching results. Is this tied to something? So let's just say, I don't know, dogs. Something popular. Reset filter. There we go. It didn't reset the filter. Oh, here it is. Dogs. It did grab it. Hey, go back. Okay, so I did grab the filter, dogs. And this is what's been mentioning for streams that have to do with dogs. So not a really popular one for uh, streaming about dogs. Maybe games would be more easier for streams, but you get all that information there. You have the list available here. So you can create lists like I have done. And in this case, I created a list for influencers. Platform YouTube and the date modified. What's the date? Quantity three. I am the list author. Do I want to view it? There we go. I have a quick view of the three people that I'm checking out on YouTube. What are they doing? The influencers, etc. I can check them out. I can remove them. I can download this and I can create more lists if I like. And I can also have search if I have a bunch of them. Okay. I can edit my list, change the color to it, etc. And then we have our tops. So for example, tops by influencers, by categories, by countries, broadcast language. So who are the tops for? Um, let's go for something a little bit different for Danish. Okay, who are the tops for Danish? Here it is. That's YouTube, Instagram. Again, we go by country. I'll go by Albania. There we go. These are the top ones for that on Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. So you get all that information from BuzzGuru. I mean, it's it's insane the amount of information you can capture here. That's super easy to analyze and view. Instead of having to do this manually, it, it could even be impossible to do this manually if you have to do a lot of searches. But if you wanna dig in deep, have that information really nice and clear, BuzzGuru is a great option. But there you go. If you guys wanna check out BuzzGuru, I will be leaving the link in the description just in case you guys wanna check it out. All right, I'll see you guys later.